Oh, shit. You asked for it, and now we're playing it. Oh, snap. We gotta give credit to, uh... Ryan Rice. And Gavin Ward for voting to, for us to play this game. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you to everyone who voted, even though it was, like, four people. Yeah, I mean, your, your, your thoughts, your, your opinions, your votes count. Hell yeah, so, like, even, like... Like, thanks to Noah Reinhardt for voting for Twilight Princess and to, to, to Cisa Jones for voting for Ocarina of Time. Yeah, you know. We'll play those games eventually. Like, that's there's there's no getting around that. It's just like we aren't going to play them now. What are we calling this character? Uh, let's call him... Um... Can I... Here, let me see it. I got it. I got a need. I got a need. So uh, I'm gonna be the one playing this. Um, yeah, I played it. A, I played it a little bit before. Um, I didn't get very far because I was using an emulator. I'll be honest. We're not using an emulator this time, but uh, I no, was. We are. We, however, we are playing the uh, Nintendo Wii Virtual Console version. We have the cartridge. We just. Excuse me. It's the RN64 isn't the most reliable piece of machinery. Mm-hmm. Well, it, I mean, you got to give it credit because, I mean, it's like it's like 17 years old now, almost yeah. 18. And I mean, like... Also, uh, we have the original Nintendo Power guide for the game right here in front of us. We don't really need it because I know the game pretty well. But I don't, so... Uh, so, yeah, just like... And, and my memory does sometimes fail me, especially with, like, the side missions. I know I'm going to forget some shit. Yeah. So it'll be helpful. But, uh... Yeah, like, okay, back to what I was saying about the, the emulator thing. Um, w I, I played this on, on an emulator, and I was having trouble with the save, so I never really got very far because it wouldn't save any of my progress, so. Eh. <laughs> so, yeah, this game is, is pretty much legendary. Yeah. It's one of my all-time favorite games. I'm pretty sure it's one of mine, even though I haven't, like... I mean, not all-time favorite game in general, but yeah. all-time, like, favorite Zelda game, just from, like, what I've played of it and what I've seen of, you know, the gameplay of it. I'm one of those weird people that, like, watch people do gameplays. Not, like, not le necessarily, like, Game Grumps, but I can just sit there and watch no commentary on, like, a fucking gameplay video. Oh, yeah, like, I don't really do that, but... Like, I just remember as a kid just growing up and watching other people play games. And uh, I, loved I, I loved doing that as a little kid. Like, I, I remember, like, watching my, my dad and my and my brother playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 like crazy. Yeah, like, I used to watch Chris play that game all the time. And I, it took, I, the most I could do is play the demo on that disc we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And I could maybe get to the elevator if I was lucky. I'd be lucky if I could figure out how to crawl underneath the little, like, the pipes. Yeah. But, uh... I could sit there and, like, I used to just go over to his house on the weekends or over the summer, whatever, watch him play Metal Gear, you know, watch Short Circuit and, like, just eat, like, chat on some junk food and just flip out, you know, play some Legos. Mm-hmm. It's fucking shit, man. <laughs> Nostalgia, it's, just, it's hitting me. Yeah. I actually want to, uh, my grandmother has my nanny. She has all these, these old, uh tapes and i want to get undigitized because she has some of me playing the nintendo 64 oh really where, like you can see me playing that's so uh, cute super smash brothers and i was i just remember the last time i watched it it's like she came in there and tried to film me and just like walked up and like pushed the camera i was like no i don't want to do that <laughs> yeah i i there's a similar video of me uh playing a a tarzan game I, on the, the pc no it was oh, on okay. pc about to say they're a Tarzan game for the PlayStation. And and uh, I don't know if I told this story on on Friendship Express before. I don't think I did. I don't think so. But uh, I was I was just like playing. I was like so engrossed in it that like my mouth was like completely open, just like. Duh! And um, it, in the recording, like I didn't know I was being recorded. It was like it was like a good like two or three minutes of just me doing that, and like I didn't realize it until like. Until, so, uh, like, I, I looked, when I looked over, I was like, Mo! I, like, started crying immediately because I was so embarrassed. Because <laughs> I know they were laughing at me at the fact that I was, like, you know, yeah, doing all that. But, uh, back to what you were saying about the, uh, the, the, uh, the fact that we're playing this on a Wii. Um, 
I just want to say we're playing a Nintendo 64 game on a Wii with a GameCube controller. Yep. We are, so, uh, we are three generations all in one game right now. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm sorry we're not playing it on the original one, but I still think that's pretty fucking cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Pretty silly, too, but I mean, like, that just shows what Nintendo can do. The backwards and, compatibility. And like, Nintendo is pretty fucking awesome. Hell, yeah. They're they're the best with that, up in, all things well, considered. Up until now. Kind yeah, because, I mean, PlayStation was good up until, like, the third one where you yeah. can't fucking play the second one. I know the reason. I think you explained it to yeah, me before. Yeah, it's the disk but... drives because, like, they're... They have like special discs, and it costs them too much money to have to put in this other. I'm I'm just, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Like it just costs them too much money to have the second disc drive, or have a disc drive that's capable of doing both of these types of, of specialized discs. Mm -hmm. That's why the Wii U can't play GameCube games. Yeah. Because the Wii U discs are like specialized Blu-ray discs that cannot be played. That cannot play like GameCube. Or anything. Yeah, it's like it's like everyone's drive for like the the whole mm -hmm. HD. Well, I mean, it's, it's whatever, because it, with the Wii U, I guess it, open, it opens up the opportunity to uh, bring, like, GameCube games onto uh, their new eShop. Yeah. Which is fine, especially since they're, like, GameCube games are so fucking expensive. Like, it's it's hard to find, or at least, like, the really good ones. Like, Super Smash Bros. Melee, like, you could fetch, could fetch you, like, 50 to 80 bucks. Yeah. If, Another thing... There needs to be a fucking remake of this. I'm sorry. If there oh, was if yeah. there was ever a necessary remake, it'd they're be gonna this do one. it. I know they they said they wanted to do a link between worlds and then this. Yeah. They better because like I mean that there there's a pretty high demand for it. It's not oh, like yeah. they would lose money doing it. Because they've remade basically every other Zelda game but this now. They've made well, they made like a three D S version of Ocarina, but... Oh, yeah, and it was completely remade. It wasn't a port. Yeah, but it still had kind of similar graphics, if you think about it. No, it didn't. Really? I mean, it was it was the same graphical style, but it was... They rebuilt the game entirely. Yeah, but imagine how good this game would look on Wii U. It would look fucking incredible. Yeah. That's why I'm really hoping that they'll do it. Just like that trailer. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, that, that fake, fake trailer. trailer. Yeah. I'm, that I'm, made me so sad. Oh, yeah. I, I can't watch that video without getting sad. Oh, shit, man. I don't know. This game... The thing I love about this and Ocarina of Time is that, like... Actually, you could, this goes for, like, any N64 game. Is like, they just don't... You... They age really well. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just... It's, like, I don't look at this and, like, this game is fucking ugly. Why am I playing this blocky, stupid-ass game? It's like, dude, this game is beautiful. I mean, a lot of people have a hard time, like, looking past the graphics, but yeah. it's gameplay that makes a game timeless, yeah. not how good the graphics are. In both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, regardless of time, of the passing of time, they're beautiful games. Yeah, all, all things considered, this this is like really good for N64. If you oh think yeah, about it. this is N64 at its peak. Yeah. Alright. I'm about to dive in. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm around to hold it. Yeah, I know you, you've done this, you've done this much. I, like you got like like I think right up before the temple before mm -hmm. or, or, like as far as I watched you were playing on on Skypes. Yeah, yeah. Like we were Skypes and that's that's like <laughs> that's the whole thing with me because like I think we discussed it in a little big planet. I got as far as the uh, the beginning of the Deku Tree in Ocarina yeah. Time. So. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I kind of, I, I, I kind of want to tell, I, I kind of want to talk about me playing this game as a kid, but it would involve talking about Ocarina of Time as well, and since I plan on actually doing the playthrough for that eventually, I want to save it for that. But I'll talk about this. Um, this game was really weird for me when I was little. Because, oh, I would imagine. I mean, I loved it. I loved the idea of being able to transform into different, you know, races using the masks, and... It was weird because I always had a hard time progressing through the games, I mean, like through Ocarina of Time, and but not this one. This one, I don't know. It's just the feel is completely different. But it's, oh yeah, it's if, oh, oh I almost died. <laughs> but uh, it was really weird. Like the only thing that kept me from progressing through this game was the weird save system that I just had a really hard time understanding. Yeah. But Ocarina of Time, I don't know. I just hit walls. 
Like, there are times when I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if there's any complaint about Ocarina yeah. of Time, it's kind of that, because it could, be, it could be really vague sometimes, but yeah. Zelda is always like that. There's always, like, little... Uh, Skyward Sword. Well, I mean... And, and Twilight Princess, despite the fact that the game is amazing, it's very linear at the same time. Yeah. Like, you don't... There's not a lot of room for... You can't go here and then go there. Ocarina of Time, you can do the dungeons and... You can do, yeah. You well, can do a lot of people were disappointed with Skyward Sword, so I mean, we don't really need to talk about that. But next time, we will be. Oh yeah, next time on the Friendship Express, we're gonna be fucking doing this shit. Doing things. Doing this 